May 78. <sighs> what I'm doing with a top hat on, on top of my perm, by the way, that's what makes it all the more stupid. But this was the, what we did in those days. You would get dressed up for things and, and act the fool. 78 against Bruges in the European Cup final was just tremendous. It was, must have been 90,000 at Wembley. So it was a fantastic memory for me. This next photograph is, is one of the great memories for me because it's 1974, I'm 20 years of age, and I'm playing in an FA Cup final when you really meant something. Got the Terry McDermott's black and white striped shirt. We played Newcastle, we played them off the park. I wanted to swap shirts with him because we were both from Kirby on Merseyside. That's our hometown. But I remember this the picture and what they were doing. They were, I was trying to get up to go and get my medal. Um, but they were stopping me because I had a Newcastle shirt on. They thought that I shouldn't go up with the winners and I should have been with them. I don't know why, because I've got red shorts on, on the picture. They're actually stopping me going up with the rest of the Liverpool lads. I remember prior to this game, we actually made two flags. Two flags for me brother <laughs> to take to the match on a big white sheet with red tape, Shanks' Red Army. Me and my mum spent sort of days doing this. I was playing in the game. <laughs> August 76, me and Terry McDermott coming back from another successful uh, Charity Shield. Um, playing cards on the Charity Shield is not really becoming, is it? It doesn't set a good example. If this is entry, we, we had some great times out. This looks like as though it's a Thursday. God bless them, there's Emlyn there, who, who was my centre-back partner. Terry Mack, my old mucker there alongside us. A few quid spent on those jackets we've got on, by the way. And big Alan Hansen. And I think we're ripping up betting slips, I think, which was quite often in those days. <laughs> Mess, eat your heart out. I think it was John Barnes and Alan Hansen. They went down on the, onto the hallowed turf of, of Aintree and we were drunk. And the two of them went down to race about 50 or 60 metres uh, along it. And everybody's just leaving. Everybody's finished for the day. Everybody's had a great day. John Barnes gave out because I was older. He gave out um, one yard for every year that he was older than him. So they went. Al was as quick as lightning. Al was, I was off. Didn't even wait for their thing. And John chasing after him. John pulled a hamstring which we were in big trouble, I can tell you. But it was a fantastic day out. June 1979, myself and Phil Neal. And again, making a fool of yourself just for the cameras. I allowed Neely to push me in. Probably a lot of people think, how does he play football? How skinny am I on that? March 1982, so this is pre sort of World Cup in Spain. The making of you, if you want. You're playing in a World Cup finals for the first time. Keegan is our captain. Mickey Bomber Mills. Why he was called Bomber, I don't know. But that was always his nickname. Do you know I had problems? I kept in England six times. And do you know when he used to go along, the lads, and he used to say this is, because used the dignitaries used to have to introduce them to the lads. I'd go like that. Ray Wilkins, I'd call him Butch. And I'd be thinking, what's his first name? And I'd go, oh, this is Butch. This is Bomber. And I could see the dignitaries going, who's that? I couldn't get the names out quick enough. This is my testimonial, playing a Liverpool team against an England 11 at Anfield. Bobby Robson, who took over from Ron Greenwood, he brought the whole England team up. The England team actually beat us 2-0. So it was a good night. We had a big celebration after us. I had a really magnificent event in the centre of Liverpool. There's me and my mate, Gerard Tullier, the odd couple. We absolutely had a great relationship and we were so different but we worked and I, I knew why I was there at the time was to bring a bit of discipline back into the club. And I probably went overboard into making things hard, but we batted off each other. It was great during half times. He, he allowed me to come in and I'd have two minutes, absolutely. And then he'd go, now, now, Phil. And then he would just come in. And I knew, I got to understand that he knew what I was doing, but it was great. We had a true bond between us and there was a great trust. And he is an absolutely terrific guy. Nearly gave his life for Liverpool Football Club. It's great looking back on photos and you get these. And this just illustrates a lot of parts th through my life, you know, from 1974. It's a fantastic short sort of look 
through the history of, of Phil Thompson and, and it's great.